soon. Today has been fun. Um, I probably had the darkest day I've had since uh, October last year. I've I've just been overthinking and getting pissed off about overthinking and making me worse and worse and it's like this cycle that I can't break but I really just I just need someone there and they weren't they weren't there especially when I said I I needed them it just got worse and I'm just I'm scared that I'm destined to be alone. Even though I, I desperately... Well, I don't desperately want someone, but... I desperately want one person. And it's, it's not going that way. I think... I think he's a, he's decided himself. So he's just cutting off slowly one one bit at a time from me and I get that I mean things happen and no one's perfect but it's just I need him I need him and he's just not there he's no and maybe you might think well it's the first time since like we started speaking that it's happened but what if it happens again I don't know if I'm going to relapse I've, this is the closest I've been to it and it, it's scary and it takes a lot of time and I need someone who's there and is patient and, and just if I'm having a shit day helps me get through it and instead of helping me get through it, he's, he's actually made it worse. I don't need that. As much as I want, I want him. I don't need that. I, I can't have that. If that was if that was the case, I'd have to, to not have to stay with him for the rest of my life. But if I was with him for the rest of my life and I wasn't able to count on him when I needed him most... What what's you can't call that a relationship. You can't call that anything. And I know it was quite early days and we were just dating, but it's just hurts, just stings and it's not it's not it doesn't help anyone. It doesn't help anyone to have that situation thrown on them. So I definitely appreciate where he's coming from if he's feeling It's all a bit too much. But I think... It's sort of test bit fire, isn't it? And I think... He's been burned. Us have been burned. It's not an us anymore. And I was trying so hard to... Keep it in. And not try and sort of scare him away with... With mental health issues. But I think... Deep down, I know it's important... And deep down, I knew I couldn't talk to him about it. So, it's probably destined from the outset. And it makes me sad. I really thought I had a connection with him and I was excited, but I guess not. I just, I need to get out of this funk. I need to get out of this cycle of just depending on people to be let down because at the end of the day the only person who's going to be there for me is me and I've got to start being there for myself I can't let others dictate my mood or dictate my general mental well-being because they're going to let me down I can't I can't afford to be let down. 
because I'm so close as it is. I just... I just feel like it's a waste. And as much as I don't want to, I know I need to break it off because it's just not going to be healthy long term. He's just not going to be there for me. And I need someone who is there. I need someone who takes the initiative and and recognises, hey, listen, I can see that he's down and just does everything in his power to, to... make me feel better I'm not asking to be with someone 24-7 and I'm not asking to be sort of like babysit me but I need someone who's just there who isn't vacant who isn't just a ghost I need someone who will be present when I need them to be whether mentally, physically just, just anything so scary I've never ever ever been as scared as I was today it's just been so dark and I just needed some someone to help me find the light and it just didn't happen I just want it to end I just want these thoughts to just stop and I know they're not going to and I know I'm going to have to fight but I've never had to fight anything as difficult in my life as relentless as sort of forthcoming and it just rules rules over you, your whole mindset and it's so 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 scary I just, I just hope I get better. I know it's one of them things that you just, time tells, but. It's been a fucking tough day. I'm sorry for swearing, but. It's been really tough. Probably just going to have some biscuits and milk for the rest of the day now. Sit in front of the TV. Put some shite television on. Probably have a cry. Go to sleep. Just pretend like it didn't happen. This is depression. So fucking scary. Yeah, well. Anyone who's actually watched this, thanks for listening to me because I'm a fucking bore. (laughs) But, yeah, see you in a bit.